Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you're all doing well today. We are continuing where we left off earlier. Let's go and see what our um, uncle has for us. Oh, I was thinking of Arthur. Still the best character. Working hard. Or hardly it's working. I am I overdue it. I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh no, what, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Oh, we're on the train. So, Charles is alive. Right. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah, well, me neither. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloon. Let's see if St. Denise has changed at all. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Where is she? There's my horse. Hello, girl. Let's go. Right, we gotta go to two locations to see if we can find Charles. Go to our first one here. So we gotta go around here. Buenos dias, señor. What? Oh, she's speaking Spanish. Howdy, Mister. Sorry. Move. Move out the way. Hey there. Fine morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hey, Watch yourself now. You know who's in charge around here? Uh, perdón, no sé, sorry. Morning, miss. Morning, dear. I assume guiding on it by being nice. I could just say, move out the damn way. Here we go. can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind St. Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Let's have a look what he's got. Dynamite, fire bottle. I would head along that way. Slice that John in. Machete. Oh well in a sec, mine white. Yeah, oh, that'll do. Don't need anything else, do we? Okay, at least he's told us where he is. Ain't gotta travel all the way to the saloon. Hey, it's raining. Hey, come on, watch it. No trouble. Yeah, I'm being nice. I'm not going to be aggressive. 
There's our girl. Alright, let's go around here. Is there a way through here? No. Okay, I've got to go around the streets. some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. And he told me Charles was here. Yes, they love a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great <laughs> mysteries, it turns out. And you are a killer. <laughs> we both know what you got to do. Hey, there he is. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And we need to have a like shave. That? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Cool, so I'm not going to bet against him. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. Savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. What's she say for boo him? What are you two, sweethearts? Let's have a fight here. I've seen you hit whiskey jars harder than that. Some red skin killing lone wolf. Come on, lone wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, lone wolf. Whoa. Ha. Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Hey, how much we made for that? So you keen on staying around here and heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. <laughs> you son of a bloke. Hey, I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Yeah, he's gonna give me drink in his name. Of course he is. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. 
Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Oh. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of them. Oh, God. He died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Oh, no. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> okay. Try and loot him. Best not. We need to get out of here. Come on, John, what are you doing? Oh crap. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. So I gotta pay a bounty off again. Always fun. Keep your eye out. I'm all going the opposite way. Chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're, we're all right. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk. And wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles. Here he is. Good old uncle. Boys been all getting up to no good. Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Progressing through the story quite quick in the epilogue, isn't it? Obviously, I think I could have done the side quests during the epilogue, but 
thought I'd get them all done. Right. Let's go and speak to Uncle again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. what I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place! Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. I'll give it to Uncle, he's lazy, but he's got some ideas. See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's going to town. Come on then. Where about in town have we gotta go? We got a bounty right next to us. Right. Where would it be? Tyler. Saloon. Side is there. General store. I want to go to the barbers. That's it. We'll go to the barbers, then we'll go to Sidey. Right, we're gonna have our beard cut. Depending on the time, I might end the video after that. And then we can do it in the next video, we can do another mission.
There we are, barbers. Hello there, sir. Well, please take a seat. Right, hair and facial hair. Trim it all. Facial hair. That's better. Right, that should do. Uh, you know what, let's go and do Sadie's mission. Might as well. Come on, lady. Hello, sir. Hello there. Hello there, sir. Is this your first time in my saloon? Yep. I'm not really here for you though, I'm here for Sadie. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John! <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in. And I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but... Now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where's come on. Where's again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Oh, thank you very much. Here we go again. Oh, that's not my horse. My horse is normal. Not having a poo. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. 
I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. Maybe we'd be better finding him now before Abigail turns up. some state troopers correct again though the given back part is optimistic I'm forever the optimist you know I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you I ain't gonna make a habit of it we haven't we just we picked up a poster here. look at that view James Langton. The other fellows just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow him. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Yeah. So we're gonna try and cut them off, or are we gonna? What are we gonna do here? I'll just follow Sadie. We'll let her do what she needs to do. You won't get 
you're through here? What are you doing, huh? You... You talking to me or like to... Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. Poor Sadie. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Too true. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. We'll try and head them off. Where exactly are they going? Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Mm, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Uh... I reckon you threaten them and I'll cover you. Okay. Get over there and cover me. Where's the others? There's another one behind us. More. Where's me guns? Take that, man. Come on, stick your head out. I know there's one there. Come on.
you did. You all better run because we're going to kill every one of you. You dead, fall off the cliff. Let's kill them all on the way. Let me get dead on him. Someone right above me as well, isn't there? Use this gun, it's a bit better of accuracy, isn't it, that one? Yeah, that's better. Damn it! Another one dead. God, he's got an army with him. I need some life quick. Damn it, these people. There's too many of them. That's it. I'm going to want to Schwarzenegger every one of you. Take that. There's one there as well, ain't there? Two up there now. It's you dead. Oh, there he is. I'm looting these ones down here. Oh, hell no. Now more food. I'm gonna loot some of these. Am I? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello, Finley. I need to get some more items and that. Oh, 
I'll shoot if I can. There's one dead. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> How'd it work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. I need to improve my shooting. Just so I'm not wasting so many bullets. Now I could do with a machine gun. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. Let's throw him on the floor. Brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. I, I object to this. Damn you. Just put him on the bed. We're going to watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, He's all right. yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm, I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. <laughs> <laughs> 